I'm Maya Kaczorowski. I'm here at KubeCon EU in Copenhagen walking the floor. And I'm here with Ronnie Osnat from Aqua Security. Hello. How are you? Great. Very so, busy. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about Aqua Security. So we provide full lifecycle security solutions for container and cloud native applications. Um, what does full lifecycle mean? Right, so we think that containers change not just how applications are deployed, but also how they're developed. So you need to embed security early on in the process. So we start by integrating through the CI CD process, mm -hmm. then through the registry to deployment and runtime and production. Got it, and yeah. this morning we had a great announcement. We announced we Cloud Security Command Center integration so that Aqua Security can write findings directly to that. Right. And customers can see that in a single pane of glass. Mm -hmm. tell, tell me a little bit more about that. Right, so uh, we, uh, you know, as a security solution, we uh, create all sorts of uh, events and alerts uh, that our customers need to understand what's happening in their environment, their security posture, compliance posture, and so forth. Uh, but customers seldom want another, yet another dashboard uh, to work with. So they're look for, looking for something more centralized. So by passing uh, this information, which includes things like vulnerability uh, status, uh, runtime events mm -hmm. in containers that are misbehaving maybe, or images that were prevented from running uh, because of security policy. Uh, we pass all those things and in the uh, Cloud Security Command Center, uh, they can see all of that in addition to other events from GCP that they're right. They can managing. look at everything happening right. in their environment in at once. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Can we get a demo? Of course. Sounds good. So here. Okay, so we're looking at the uh, Google Cloud Security Command Center list of uh, findings and here under Aqua Security we can see that there are runtime violations and vulnerability violations uh, as well as image assurance violations which means that these are images that were not approved by the system. Let's take a look at a runtime violation and um, there are details here that are fed by, by Aqua. We can see that the action here was detect meaning this wasn't actually blocked that depends on policy and if we look at more details of how it looks on, on the Aqua console we can see information about uh, the exact uh, nature and um, paths of this, uh, of this violation, some environment variables. Most importantly, we can see in the audit screen that this was actually an action triggered by uh, a vulnerability uh, known as Shellshock, which, in which a user tried to do a privilege escalation and Aqua uh, detected that uh, in this case. Thanks so, so much for that. That was great to see how we detected runtime findings and then saw them directly in CSCC. Yes, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Are you having Thank a great you, time here at KubeCon? Yes, it's amazing. A really amazing conference. Hopefully we'll see you again in Seattle. You will. And thanks to all those at home for watching.